Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. We are here for a late night stream. I was sleeping and I woke up to have to go to the washroom. And I noticed literally the second I checked my phone that Foodie had posted. She's back. So she's back from her uh, MIA stint wherever she had gone. I have not seen any of this yet. I immediately came on here and uh, got this all set up. So the gamer fam, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. You have me on the phone and them on the TV. <laughs> and hello to everybody else watching in the background or watching on the replay. Thank you for joining us. So the name of Foodie's new video, which just came out 39 minutes ago, is called I Spent a Day in the Hospital. So I guess that's where she's been. Uh, we're going to find out what happened. And then we'll see where the night takes us. Um, Rev and Shani put out uh, some new stuff. And uh, Austin got uh, angry at me in chat earlier this evening. So that was fun. So I thought maybe we'd go over that as well. Hello, the dude brother. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've been very interested as to where Foodie went. If she's back in Kuwait. Is she still in Canada? I haven't got a clue. I don't know a thing. I literally flicked through it, found a picture of her thumbnail, clipped it, and got the hell out because I'm so excited to watch this with you guys. Because I am dying to know where she was and whether or not she's still in the country. So let's find out, you guys. Let's do it. Hello, booty beauties. <laughs> Oh, Canada, our oh. home and BC land. I guess we got our answer pretty quick. And how dare you, Chantal? How dare you disgrace our beautiful national anthem that way? Don't you dare. And get a cameo now while I'm in Canada while you can. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting with a random mini travel vlog to upstate New York. In particular, okay, a couple points. First of all, I hate when it was hang on. Yeah. I hate when she to another video. takes our little today. We are saying at the bottom here look, low BMI voice ASMR. She's like taking these things that reaction channels have come up with and then she uses them as if they're cute. They're not cute or funny when you use them, Chantal. We use them against you, but it's not nearly as cute or funny when you do it. So if you could stop that, that'd be great. And why the fuck are you going to upstate New York to go to the hospital? When you're a Canadian. Travel vlog to upstate New York, in particular Messina. First, we had to pass through the Aquasasne Mohawk Reserve, though, and then cross a bridge to get to the USA border. I'm going to be surprised if she doesn't have any problems at the border after all of her travel. The USA can be very, very particular. Oh, you're special, Chantal, Canadian passport. I don't understand why we're going okay, to Okay, we New made York. it through. Why, oh, why New York? Were you guys around for the last New York trip? that she did absolutely no planning for and got stuck in New York because she couldn't get back home because she traveled the day the COVID restrictions lifted. That was a priceless video. She didn't even so much as take clean underwear with her. I had no specific reason to come here today. I just like checking it out every few years to see if anything has changed. 
I also love driving around to nowhere and anywhere at any given time. Oh, that's disgusting American. voice. Is Dollar General like a really good dollar store? All right, so we have here a little shopping mall with a Chinese buffet, a cinema, a big lot. Hmm, interesting. Okay, literally nobody cares about the cinema, the big lots, or the fucking buffet. Why the hell were you in the hospital? Please get to the important things. All right, so this is what's playing at this cinema. Is this old movies? I can't tell. So I didn't notice this until it was too late, but the crappy gas station car charger I purchased wasn't working and therefore wasn't charging my phone this whole time. So at some point my battery died and <laughs> thus why the vlog of Messina was no more. But <laughs> professional YouTuber, you guys. Professional YouTuber. Gamer fan, we don't know. She didn't say why she was in New York. She just said she wanted to drive there, so she decided to drive there for no reason at all. And then professional YouTuber of the world uh, didn't get a phone charger that worked and couldn't vlog her trip. I didn't want to waste the whole trip, so I'm still so sharing the clips difficult. I have. Sorry, guys. Anyways, unfortunately, things recently have taken a bit of a toll for the worse, health-wise. Okay, that's what we're here for. So... As you can see, I'm in the ER beezing. Um, so she's actually filming in the hospital. TMI warning, it says. And she plans to go back to Kuwait. How long has she been home? Like, less than a week? And she's already in the hospital. Taking advantage of our beautiful Canadian healthcare. Excuse me, Miss Ma'am. Cheryl, hello, dear. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. I have norovirus or the, um, the bad stomach flu, the highly contagious one. I don't know where I got it. Hope I never get it again. It is yeah, she was Cheryl. Illness. I swear it's it's disgusting. So I became severely dehydrated. And so I got sick about I don't know, like maybe three days ago. I don't remember exactly when, a few days ago, and I woke up in the middle of the night and I had to throw up. TMI, by the way. And then. Sorry, guys, I'm just listening to everything she has to say. Other end, diarrhea. Severe diarrhea. So, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle weakness, just. It actually sounds a lot like what I had my very last flu. We thought it was COVID. The whole house caught it. And. We have never been so sick. And my husband had to go to the hospital too because he's a type 1 diabetic. And uh, he couldn't eat and was vomiting everything. So his blood sugars were crazy. So he ended up having to go to the hospital. And they tested him for COVID. And it wasn't that. It, they just told him it was the flu. But we all had it and have never been so desperately ill. Like for a week, we were all bed bound. It was really, really bad. We were really sick. But if I had to venture a guess, her health conditions are not helping. Her blood sugars are probably through the roof. She's not taking care of herself. She told us the other day that she's done nothing but binge on fucking fast food since she got here. And apparently got dehydrated and had to go to the hospital from the flu. Oh, did you, Cheryl? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it was awful. My God, we were sick fatigue yeah sounds like all the same symptoms and I'm very dehydrated my sodium and um, 
the chloride. I don't know. My electrolytes were really bad. I couldn't keep enough water in, like fluids in. The rate they were going out, it's bad. It's bad. Don't come near me. You'll catch it. <laughs> anyway, just a quick update. Um, I'm doing all right other than that. Um, you know. Oh, the arm cuff thing. It hurts. <sighs> Fuck off, Chantal. It's fucking free healthcare. Don't sit there and bitch about the fucking arm cuff hurting. Seriously. God damn it. She's such a baby. What's she going to do when she's back in Kuwait and this happens to her? And she needs to go to the hospital. She went and told us how expensive healthcare was there. Yet, yet, she's going to take the decision and go the fuck back. The blood pressure cuff. Let's see what my blood pressure is. That's not bad. Yellow. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. So I got to get a whole bunch of fluids. Um, going to the bathroom is torture because I have to unplug everything. And take this thing with me into the bathroom. Don't even start. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, my God. Oh, it's such a pain, you guys. I have to unplug the IV and walk all the way to the bathroom. God. Oh, my God. This woman, if she ever had to spend a day actually fucking sick. Like, I've had months on end where those things were my third fucking arm, for Christ's sake. the time so i'm just trying to get better and oh we should be able to do can you imagine person. cheryl yeah i'm very Poor dizzy nurses. this week they want me to try to tolerate food i haven't eaten in like look what you fucking put violent arcane hello hello good to see you thank you for being here well, okay, so she is in Canada right now, and she drove over the border into New York. She's not far from New York, uh, from where she lives, or from where she's at in Ontario. But she is going back to Kuwait, she says. Um, but why she went to New York? No fucking idea. Yeah, look at the bottom of the screen. Norovirus skinny legend, because she hasn't been able to keep food down in a day. Chantal, if you lost a half a fucking ounce, I'd be surprised. Since being sick, pretty much, I tried having, like, an apple because I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with, like, ginger ale soda when you're sick. There's nothing I want less than soda. Um, Bullshit. You're probably guzzling coke by the gallon. In the shower. That's because I'm like, I'm being a skinny queen from the norovirus. Did she say she fell in the shower? Sick. There's nothing I want less than soda. Um, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. That's because I'm like, I'm being a skinny queen from the norovirus. Oh my God, I'm going to fucking scream if it wasn't the middle of the night. I'd wake the whole house, I would. She has no fucking idea. No fucking idea what it's like to actually be sick. And to deal with this bullshit. I lost 15 pounds. In the matter of like 8 days. Being sick. I have 3 different wedding rings. In 3 different sizes. Because my weight fluctuates so much and so quickly. And that ring, Chantal, was cutting off the fucking circulation. Your finger was turning blue. There is no way that in two days you lost enough weight for that ring to fall off. Not in a hundred million years unless the fucking hospital took a fucking belt grinder to it and cut it off your finger. Oh, she makes me so angry, Cheryl. Skinny queen, right? 
fuck's sake. I'd do some cameos for my hospital. She probably ate too much fucking cheese in New York, and that's why she ended up back in the hospital again. Uh, fun times. Anyway. Chantal, you have no fucking idea what it's like. Not Fuck fun. off. I don't know. Did you guys get the gastro this this year? I haven't had that in forever. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it is the worst, man. Such a baby. So, it feels like a hangover times 10. That's what it feels like. 100 times, Ew. yep. So yeah, I didn't want saltines and ginger ale. Like, I wanted juicy fruit because I was so thirsty. Anyway. Bullshit. You wanted fucking nashies and a hamburger, but you wouldn't settle for the fucking saltines and the fucking ginger ale. God, she's full of shit. My blood sugar's through the roof even though I didn't eat. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick and if you have Bullshit. She's a type 2 diabetic. If her blood sugars are through the roof, it's because she ate like fucking crazy. I guarantee you I know exactly what she did. She went to New York. She ate everything in fucking sight. Literally everything in sight. Skyrocketed her fucking blood sugars. Drove back to Canada so she could get free health care. And landed her fucking ass in our hospitals. To put up with her fucking eating too much goddamn junk food in New York. I guarantee fucking to you that's what happened to her. Guarantee you that's what happened to her. A type 2's blood sugars don't fucking spike without food, Chantal. Hey, Soren. Yes, I absolutely think she is. I think she she said she went to New York. I think she ate all the fucking cheese she could find. And she's back in the goddamn hospital again. Taking advantage of our free fucking health care when she refuses to pay goddamn taxes. You have, like, a virus or infection, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't know what what will be going on, how long I'll be here for. You mean you want our ass pats and you want us to feel bad for you? Think again, Chantal, and get fucked. Nobody feels bad for you. In case the doctor's hey, coming. Soren. Yeah, so they keep coming and checking my electrolyte levels, my blood sugar, stuff like that. So I'll keep you guys updated. So the I'm absolute basics, the things they do to everybody. You must be violently ill, Chantal. I just want to sleep till this is over. Honestly, it's the worst feeling. Sleeping is all you ever want to do. When have you ever wanted to do anything but fucking sleep? Ugh. I can't even think of food. Bullshit. Yeah, I'm thinking, well, this is just what you need. <sighs> Maybe. Right, Cheryl? Yeah, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. I'm skinny now. Oh my fuck, she's so <laughs> full of shit. Oh my god. Definitely not putting god, any she's crap full of in shit. my body after this. Uh, the way I feel. Okay, that's gotta get clipped. She's not putting any more crap in her body by the way she feels. She's never eating crap again. That just absolutely goes to prove my point. She went to New York, ate herself fucking sick, and then drove back across the border for our free health care. Chantal, you are the worst kind of fucking human. You know that? The worst kind of fucking human. Hey, Chelsea. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, BS is right. I don't think I can tolerate it, honestly. They want me to try to tolerate something before I leave here. So who knows when that will be? I can't. <laughs> they want you to tolerate something and eat something because they want you the fuck out of there. Our hospitals are so goddamn overcrowded. Nobody can get in, especially the desperately ill people that really, really need it. Not somebody that drove to New York and ate themselves fucking sick, Chantal. They want the fucking bed back. Get your goddamn victim playing ass out of it. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Yay for norovirus. I keep trying to make us feel bad because we fucking don't. Ew. 
Not even a fucking I little washroom because it's contaminated from my from me because it's so highly contagious. Anyway, I'm gonna try to rest. Oh, Cheryl, that's so sweet. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you. The hogging it up is right. She is playing this up for every fucking bit of sympathy she could possibly get. Every bit of fucking sympathy. And it is not going to work. Because not one person fucking yeah, cares. Um, not one. I'll just see you guys when I see you, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to update you guys as I can. Um, see you later. Bye. So they ended up having to give me a total of six of these fluid bags for uh, rehydration. It was rough. Hi, guys. I just wanted to give an update basically on, you know, I left kind of hanging in the ER. So I have been discharged. I was discharged in like the middle of the night. And I actually feel a lot better today. So basically, I was just really dehydrated, like a lot. So basically, they gave me like fluid um a few liters of fluid anyways i've been drinking i picked up some gatorade but it's like it's like a healthy gatorade because when i'm ill she's fucking beyond a drama queen she has no idea what it's like to actually be sick and be in that fucking hospital stuck in there she's just in there taking up her free fucking bed that she refuses to contribute to oh gatorade is like real gatorade is too artificial for me and that's why I don't like ginger ale either when I'm sick. What the fuck do you mean healthy Gatorade? So it's actually only got like, I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar, which is also good for diabetics, you know? And it's made with like real, I think it's like watermelon <laughs> juice and like yeah, um, salt, like sea salt and like more natural ingredients. There's oh, still a few off. that are a little iffy, but it's for the most part, they're very, uh, they're a lot more natural, let's just say. So I was just charged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was because there was nothing fucking wrong with you, Chantal. You needed some goddamn fluid. That was it. Do you know how many actual sick people go to the hospital and actually need a bed and a nurse and a doctor and not a fucking bag of fluid? Fuck's sakes, you're holding enough fluid to fucking keep a camel alive for fucking five years. You think you'd have enough in your body to keep you going overnight. Oh, she has zero fucking idea, Cheryl. Zero idea. That's why her and Shani pissed me off so badly. I spent so much time of my life in hospitals and dealing with hospitals and seeing other people 10 times sicker than me. And this heifer walking into the fucking hospital, spending all of the hospital's fucking money when she won't even fucking contribute, all because she drove to New York and ate too much fucking junk. God damn, she makes me mad. It was okay, and I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today, I'm feeling a lot better. Of I think course you can drive. Helps. They only give you and fluid. Honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving, like, pickle juice, which also is apparently good for, like, electrolyte replenishment. You know what it's also full of, Chantal? Salt, you fucking genius. You have high blood pressure. And you're not craving pickle juice. Let's all be real. You want the deep fried pickles from Harvey's. Uh, because of the high sodium content. But like. Never. I was just like craving going into like. You know. A Canadian grocery store. Like no frills. And just grabbing like. No name brand. Big jar of dill pickles. And just downing the juice. Like having an emergency jar of pickles. Hang on. Like, so it's not a bad idea. That ring does not look anywhere near loose to me. It's not turning her finger blue like it was in the past, but it certainly doesn't look too fucking big that it's fallen off to me. This And this, this is the uh, part of the arc, the healthy arc. I'm going to be healthy now because I spent the night in the hospital, so now I have to be healthy. Yeah, that'll last all of like, I don't know, 45 minutes. Exactly, Cheryl, before she's back to eating like a fucking gluttonous pig. That's exactly what will happen. Yeah. Anyway, I should start. Of course she is. Who am I kidding? I can't even get up before noon. 
two and on a good day or before three. Well, sometimes, yes. I've been it's sleeping like a third lot one. Like, for days. I've just been resting in that because this flu just makes you feel like you've been hit by a mock truck, like 18 wheeler. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Anyway, um, I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were like pre booked with like, you know, um, friends and family. Yeah, I have friends. You guys are always shocked by that. I don't have many, but. <laughs> Actually, I do have a lot. I just don't. Bullshit, Chantal. Your one and only friend is Pete. That's it. That's all. Why you sit here and bother to lie to us about it when we all know the blatant obvious truth? Pete's is the only one left. You've driven every other single person away from you. Every single one. I keep in touch with a lot of them. So, yeah. Could you don't have uh, any? I have some things to take care of, some medical appointments and things like that. So, um, right. Free healthcare, you need to take advantage I of. I will probably course. like do some live streams. I'm not sure. And I'll do some more videos for you guys, more vlogs. Oh, but right. That makes sense. I am still going back to Kuwait. And um, so I'm just like rearranging my life right now, basically. And I'm just overwhelmed. Right. And just having the personal space, like not uploading as frequently, is like really helping. So, I appreciate your guys' patience. I know a lot of you look forward to and depend on my videos. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll be back whenever I can. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Masalama. First question. If you're not going to upload so much, may I ask how you plan to pay your bills? How do you plan to pay to get back to Kuwait? How do you plan to pay for uh, Salad's new car? And the fart box in Kuwait. How do you plan on paying for all this when you don't plan on uh, on posting? When it's yours and your husband's only source of income. I'd really like an explanation to that as to how you plan to um, continue to live your life and not post. Because I that would be a very interesting, uh, very interesting story. Swen, hello, hello. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, friends, exactly, right? Mm hmm friends my ass okay this is really quick uh it was a long stream but um he only yelled at me at the beginning so we'll just watch the beginning um so austin came on earlier about eight hours ago now of course needing money like usual today was beggar's day i guess hey janet thank you for being here so good to see you so this was Austin about eight hours ago, and uh, I popped into his chat. I typically uh, will, if I'm not doing anything else, just pop in for a second to see what he's going on about. And um, yeah, I asked him uh, if I could ask an honest question, and that threw him off the handle. Apparently, you're not allowed to ask uh, questions in his chat, just FYI. <laughs> Oh, man, it's fucking... And it's called Need Money for Rent Anything Helps. He posts like six of these a day. He needs money for rent. He needs money for food. He needs money for wine. He needs money for weed. It's literally five or six a day. Every single day. This is pretty hot out here. I need to start wearing uh, short sleeve shirts. I just hope they're not trying to fool me. They fooled us a few times out here. It got up to 60, 70 degree weather. Then all of a sudden, two days later, it's fucking 30s, 20s degrees, snow on the ground. I have Jeez to Louise. set up, don't I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, she, she fooled us a few times. I'll leave him alone. She said, can I ask an honest question? No, you cannot. No, you may not. That Please was respect me. my answer. I said, can I ask an honest question? No. No, you may not. And please respect my answer. So you're not allowed to ask questions. Questions in his chat. You're only allowed to pay his bills. Hello, Sharon. How you doing? God bless you. A little hot, hot out here today. Jeez, Louise. Oh, Lord. Thank you all for... Hello, Marsha. God bless you. Thank you all for joining my live stream today. 
Hello, Queen. God bless you. People so you want money from me, but I can't ask a question. Seems fair. No, I don't want any money from you, actually. That was I just want you to go away. Okay? Usually when people have to ask, if they can ask a question, the question is going to be a disrespectful question. And it's, it's, it's going to be something they know is offensive. So you come in here asking me if you can ask a question. I don't trust you. I don't want you here either. I want you to go away. I don't want your money. All right. Anybody else? Yes. I need money for rent. This person, I, I want you to go away. Okay. Anybody? That's my that's my unwritten rule. Well, guess what, Austin? I'm not going away. See, so you can get screwed. How's that? Hmm? So you want people to pay your bills, work hard for their money, and then give it to you because you're too lazy to get off your fucking ass and go get a job. But nobody's allowed to ask a question. Nobody's allowed to say a fucking word. You just want me to disappear? Well, I'll just cover you more. How's that? You goddamn begging bum. Ugh. Oh, you know what he's doing now to look for a job? He wrote a cardboard sign that says need work. No phone number, no nothing. It just says needs work. So I guess he just expects people to just pull over to the side of the road and offer him a job. I guess is what he thinks. And he only holds that up like, I don't know, maybe once a week. When people start to get real mad at him for asking for money all the time, you're like once a week he'll hold up the sign and say, "See, I'm looking for work." You should. People should know this by now. If you ask me, if you can ask me a question, the answer will always be no. No, you cannot ask me a question. If you have to ask, so you can ask us for money, but we cannot ask you a question. Does that seem fair to anybody else? It, it, it's like you don't really care about the respect of asking because if you're asking me if you can ask me a question then you already asked me a question so why are you pretending to be polite because you already asked the question you're not being polite he doesn't even know what I was god bless ask you it. sean he said instrumentals god bless you man how oh am god, i gerald did he really are you serious? That's so funny. Imagine this guy is a cop. And then it was very shortly after this that he blocked me. He didn't even know what my fucking question was. I was going to ask him, how do you expect somebody to get a hold of you when all your sign says is needs work? How are they supposed to get a hold of you? At least put a phone number or something on it. Like, he had no idea what I was going to ask him. He just fucking flipped his lid at me and said, no, nobody's allowed to ask questions. And he doesn't want my money. He just wants everybody else's money, is what he said. No, I don't want your money. I just want other people's money. God, these entitlement of some of these jackasses is unbelievable. I just feel like a loser. Oh, Cheryl, you're so sweet. I feel like a complete loser. And I, and I don't need people to run me, all right? I already know I'm a loser. You and are. thought hasn't left my head. Just stop being mean to me. Nobody was okay, being mean. Okay, how about that? Mean. How about people just stop being mean to me? Nobody was being mean. He's still talking to me. He had already blocked me, but he was still talking to me because he could still see my messages even though I was blocked. And I told him I was going to put him in my stream tonight. Right, Cheryl? Yeah. I didn't watch much after this because he blocked me and I got to get to the I don't know what Thank you all for joining my live stream today. My bad. goal is to raise $140. If I raise $140, then I won't have to worry about rent for the rest of the month. You know what could raise you $140, Austin? 
a job. They actually pay you to go there. When you go to a job, they pay you money. And then that's how people pay their rent. That's kind of how, you know, the rest of us have money for rent. And apparently some jackasses have money for you too. So, yeah. Anyway, that was about <clears throat> all I got from him. Um, like I said, I got bored and I left. The stream was three hours and 40 minutes long. He literally spends his entire day doing this. Like, literally a job would be less work. It would be way less work to get an actual job than to do what he does. It's ridiculous. Okay, now, speaking of beggars, about four hours ago, Graveyard Flowers uh, put up a post for us of uh, good old Shani and Rev. So let's take a look. Because it looks like somebody else is in need of some money. Go fucking figure. This was just posted about four hours ago, guys. So this is brand new. And I have to say, I love Graveyard Flowers opening so much. That fucking shanty whale kills me. It's so good. Hey, Bella. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Speaking of bums, right, Cheryl? <laughs> Speaking of bums. My husband saw me watching this earlier. And he was like, oh, dude, I think you should take off that hat. Uh, am I wrong? Or is that like uh, cultural appropriation, that hat? Because it really just, maybe I'm crazy. It just reminds me very much of like a Jamaican hat. I have not decided on something to talk about. Of course not, because you're here to beg for I money. I really have not looked at the headlines or anything, so I don't know. I don't have a subject to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Bella. Oh, I hope things get better and you can get some sleep. I was asleep, and then I woke up to go to the washroom and seen that foodie posted and uh, decided to jump on. They're beyond ridiculous, Cheryl. It's crazy. I don't know where this entitlement comes from. Like, I just don't get it. Where they think everybody else should work and pay them. It 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 just blows my mind. Oh, I well. I colored a thing yet. I could talk guys. about Coral Island. Because I've been watching Shani play Coral Island. And um, that's a game? It's a cool game. It's literally Stardew Valley, but 3D uh, with like sexy characters and stuff. They draw them sexy. They really oh, focused God. on the men. But there's not too many like, wow, oh, wow, women, unfortunately, for the guys. But it's mostly women that play those, <clears throat> play those games. So that makes a lot of sense. So you're upset because there's not enough hot anime women in your wife's video game? Sensible? No, the main reason I'm making the video right now is... You need money. I need gas money. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Anybody else is more caught up on uh, these two morons than I am? The last I knew, they didn't have a running vehicle. What the fuck is he putting gas in? Because the Durango's long gone, right? And he had that old car. But as far as I know, that car doesn't run. They don't drive. So what exactly are you putting gas in, Rev? Are you huffing the shit? Like, where, where do you plan on putting it? Oh, gosh, Bella, that must be so hard. I'm sorry. Oh, I rely on my husband so much. That would be so difficult. We're here for you. Anytime you want to chat. 
come chat, hit me up in Discord, anything. Yeah, right? No car. Yeah, but he needs gas money now. Okay, sure, Rev. I need gas money. Hey, what's up, Stacy? Um, I just messaged somebody in here about that. I need gas money. So if anybody could help me mean with that, I appreciate you. Um, I do have... What he means by I just contacted somebody in here means uh, his PayPal contacts that he gets. Um, there's the Discord link in case um, anybody doesn't have it or in case you didn't have it, Bella. Um, you guys are welcome in. You ever want to hit me up? Just hit me up on Discord. We can chat. Um, and then I lost my train of thought. Whoops. I have job applications out and I'm waiting for interviews. And everywhere I go, literally, I'm <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Would you, could you hire me? Could you hire me? Could you hire me? Does They're anybody all, like, believe no, that? We're not hiring right now. Oh, there's so many jobs out there. I bet, yeah. I bet, I yeah, bet. scam jobs, scam stuff that you put your number, your phone number into, and then they spam you constantly with stuff to... No, that's not true, Rev. You just have to want to work. That's the problem. You just have to want to work. I actually have some really good news. My son got... um offered a brand new job today um, my 20 year old doing construction um, he was working for somebody else and their boss overheard him saying he was going to drop off a resume at a carpenter's union and uh, the bigger boss came up and said no no don't do that come on I'll hire you and offered him good money and a full time job and amazing and he said, he told him, he said, you you really seem like a real good worker to me. And yeah, offered him the job. You have to want to work, Rev. You have to want to work. Exactly. Get up and take a fucking shower. You can't, like, first of all, bullshit. I don't believe for a second you walked in anywhere and said, can you hire me? Can you hire me? Can you hire me? You didn't fucking do that, Rev. That's such bullshit. You didn't do that. If you applied anywhere, I'd be surprised. Maybe one fucking place and they turned you down. Because you think you're too entitled to work at a bottom level job. Relieve your debt. It is great, Bella. What the hell it's is been that? a long time coming. I sign up for something to get job offers and, and it's it's debt relief. Just siphon some gas from neighbors. Yeah, you know, there are people that do that. Yeah, you're probably fucking one of them. So the way you're looking for a job is signing up on websites. Of course they're going to send you fucking scams, you dope. How can these people at this age not understand how to look for a job? Like, Austin doesn't get it. Rev doesn't get it. How can they not understand how to get a job? You don't go online and, uh, and fucking put your name in fucking websites hoping somebody will just offer you a job. You don't hold up fucking cardboard signs. You fucking get your ass in gear, go fill out applications, and drop off resumes. Put your feet to the fucking pavement, Rev, and go and apply. And actually, half the time, you don't even have to do that anymore. It's all online. You can apply online. And I guarantee you haven't done any of it. How the fuck you made it to 40 without, I don't know, like lighting yourself on fire, cooking a fucking pack of craft dinner or something. I'll never know. For, for sure. I'm sure that's been done to my car a few times. Not the one I have now, but but when, when I had money. Oh, bullshit. I'm, there was I'm never sure any gas in your car. I, when I had money, I don't care. Yeah, go ahead. Siphon a little if you need it. Now I know. What do you wear when you ask for a job? I wear my normal clothes. And I, 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 I look like I look. I don't look weird or nothing. Uh -huh. I look like some normal, just like fucking metal dude. Rev, I think myself, everybody in here, and anybody else who ever sees this will agree. You absolutely do not look normal if you're walking into a job interview dressed the way you dress. I guarantee whether it's right or it's wrong, I guarantee you're being judged on the way you look when you walk into those jobs. 
you look like somebody who just rolled out of a fucking tent off a sidewalk, hasn't showered in three months, has never washed their clothes, won't cut their hair. You look like I don't even know what. But you absolutely are being judged, and I can promise you that. So if you think you look normal walking into these places trying to get some big job because you get you're too good to flip burgers. Good fucking luck, Rev. Exactly, Cheryl. If I'm not wrong, I from what I heard, Burger King told him to shower because he stinks. Get in life dot me, bro. Also, much love. Thank you for that, Roids. Christ pilled zealots. <laughs> That's one hell of a name. I like oh, yeah. People really did that before ring cameras. Yeah, the ring camera will get you. It will. Looking healthy? Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm trying to. I, I got a routine that I'm doing. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, uh, cu last couple nights, I haven't been. But uh, I have a routine that I'm doing, and it's definitely going to work. I just have to stick at it. Yeah, you look real healthy. You could use a few bucks, too. God bless you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's. I'm sorry that you don't have any money, but could you just give me what you do have? Because I'm unwilling to go make it for myself. So even though everybody's hurting, the economy sucks, and food is too expensive to afford, and I know everybody's struggling, and you're telling me you're struggling, but could you give me your money anyway, please? Because I'm too fucking lazy to go make my own. They have absolutely no excuse, Cheryl. Not a fucking excuse. Neither would I. I don't know why anybody does. It's a cool name, man. That's that's pretty great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hear Shani moaning in pain. If you oh, could pray God, for Shani's go. hips specifically, her oh, hips are her just hips? like feeling like they're falling apart. Oh, yeah. So. Here's a thought. Possibly if uh, she went on a diet, you know, because you guys can't afford all that food. Um, you know, she'd lose part of that 600 pounds and there wouldn't be so much weight and pressure on her hips and she wouldn't be in so much pain. So instead of asking for prayers, why don't you ask, I don't know, somebody to help her with a fucking diet? Seriously, what the fuck do you think a prayer is going to do? She's 600 pounds, Rev. Everything is going to fucking hurt at that weight. And you want fucking prayers. Ah, the victim mentality is something yeah. else, Cheryl. I work as a cashier at Beggar for a popular store. It's better to ask for a hiring manager when it comes to the store. Yeah, but but they're like like I they're saying literally they're not hiring. Like they're just not. I'll pray for her hips. Thank you very much, Royds, for Christ pilled zealots. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so Coral, that Coral Island is cool. If you're into farming games, you should get that. Oh, you could send a few bucks? Oh, thank you. Um, I know your name, but nope. That girl with the cute kids, thank you. Thank you very much. Love you. Man, Maybe her hurt. hips are hurting from the work where you put oh, the other day. Kid. No. Well, Matt. What work? You would probably partly correct. Okay. Hold the phone. What work did fucking Shani do? Thank you very much. Love you. Maybe her hips are hurting from the work where you put oh, the other day. Kid. No. Well. From the work you put the other day. I didn't catch up on all the older Shev and Randy. That was an interesting name. Uh, Shandy and Rev videos that I had missed while I was away. So maybe it's something like that. But what the fuck kind of work did uh, did did she do that would possibly be hurting her? Yeah, exactly. Why don't they offer to do an hour's work? 
for ten dollars it's donated even cleaning around the neighborhood well bella he tells us later that ten dollars an hour is not worth it he's not worth that he can't pay bills on that so he's not going to work for anything to him it's better to make zero than to work um than to work about than to work for ten dollars an hour oh god soren really Go fucking figure. Of course they would be. Oh, God fucking gross. Absolutely nobody wanted nor needed to know about that. And it's the 600 Matt, pounds that's hurting our hips. Guaranteed. Probably partly correct. Oh, fuck okay, off. but I think so, mostly so it is himself. He's so fucking full of himself. He just thinks he's literally like the best man ever fucking invented. Like, hottest guy ever, best guy in bed, biggest penis in the world. Rev, we've all fucking seen it. You have nothing to brag about, dude. Not a fucking thing. Seriously. Get off That's your exactly high not. fucking horse. But you're right. That could be part of it. Hip pain can be related to back pain, definitely, Stacey, yeah. Could also be related to being overweight. Yeah, she's got she's got a nice... Somebody, I can't remember who sent it. Somebody wonderful uh, sent a, a beautiful heating pad that she has. So she's on that right now. So, you know, we're, we'll try to make her feel better. You know, guys? You know, guys? Well, yeah, that's what I'm here for today is gas money. Come and on. I apologize for that. You know you what I mean? I hate you don't fucking care. I hate I hate it. No, Big boobies probably wrecked her life as it did me. Stacy, oh. yeah. It's a sacrifice, right? I mean oh. we really like them. Guys love them. Uh Rev, the girls too, up. but guys love them. And uh you got them. So I mean that's cool. But yeah, I guess there is a consequence to that. What's up, Helen? Nervous. I know Kroger, Home Depot, Marriott, Target, other grocery always hit higher for cashier uh, or baggers, but night shift gets more than morning. I would tell that, that would yeah, I'd take night shift, definitely. You know, the mornings no. Mornings are like. God forbid there were people at Burger King getting up at six. It's like they had to get up at four, four in the morning to open the doors and shit and and put. Oh my God! Not four in the morning. Well, fuck off! God, you know nothing about life. My husband gets up at three a.m. every single fucking day, Monday to Friday, to go to work. People do it, Rev, because they have families to support. But no, no, you're too good for that. I know, me too, Cheryl. Exactly, exactly, Bella. Exactly. Beggars can't be fucking choosers. Put the machines on and stuff? No, thank you. Imagine going to work at 4 a.m. Yeah, to Stacey support your family. Your Holy day. fuck. She gets it. Interesting. Well, then you add osteo and fibromyalgia. Oh, shut it's up. It's like, holy crap. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you. But it's not enough. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. That is not enough, though, for... See? Gas is up for a gallon. Gas is $4 a gallon here. Get Biden's awesome I, economy. I double it's all about rev. routine. You get used to getting up early. Double. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It is. It is. I'm just not a morning person. And in the more in the in the morning here, you got frost on your windows and all that bullshit. Yeah, it sucks. Never thought I imagine all that bullshit. You'd have to scrape off a windshield on a car you don't own. For the gas you don't need? Seriously, Rev? You see what I mean? He's too good. He's too good to do this work. He can't get up at four in the morning. He'd have to scrape frost. You expect him to do that? 
I'd be disa deemed disabled by the government at 40. Exactly, Bella. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Don't say sorry, that girl with the cute kids. So oh, thank you. Any, I feel that too. Anything you can give is cool. Shani, get fucked. You're not disabled. You're overweight. You need to lose the weight, and your health conditions would improve tenfold. And they're talking about being disabled at 40 because somebody in the chat mentioned it. I've been on disability since I was fucking 23 years old. 23. So don't huh? fucking whine to me. Yeah. You're disabled at 40. Yeah. It really sucks. It's Especially horrible. when your mind wants to like go places and do stuff. Yeah. Your body's like, no. You want to live. Yeah. You're, you're fucking trapped. I In fucking hate body, this. And it sucks. I know. And I'm sorry about that. It's dog shit. <clears throat> no, you know what's dog shit? You coming on here and fucking begging everybody else for their goddamn money because you're too lazy to get off your fucking lazy ass and go support your wife the way you need to. That's what's fucking dog shit. And the fact that your goddamn so-called so -called wife sits there and complains about diseases to people who actually have chronic fucking illnesses. God, the two he is. Life can be rough, man. I miss hiking. Happens all the time, unfortunately, Cheryl. I never been really what you say hiking, but I mean I've been through the You're right, Bella, it is, so much. It's like, different things. Grocery stores hiring uh, baggers for ten to thirteen dollars an hour, and it comes to ten dollars an hour. Listen, great, great. Part of your paycheck later after you're done. Ten dollars. Thirteen, okay. Thirteen's better, but ten, I wouldn't work again. No. I'm not working for ten dollars. No, no, because I did it at Burger King, and I can't even get out of this house. I I don't have enough money to get an apartment on that salary. It's all sixteen-year-old kids working these jobs because they're with their parents or they're with their grandparents. That you can't live on these salaries. So you'd rather make absolutely zero than ten dollars an hour. Be, right, Cheryl, exactly. But you'll beg for the $10. Yep. But he's too good to work for $10 an hour. You can't. Nobody's disagreeing that the salaries are terrible. $10 an hour is more than zero. What the, the fuck? It doesn't. Do it. You're not. You don't have enough to get out of the, the, the situation that I'm in. It's the. I'd have. You'd have enough to feed yourself. You'd have enough to buy your own fucking gas just because it doesn't provide you enough to fucking get the apartment of your dreams doesn't mean it's not going to provide you with something. But no, that's not good enough. It has to be more than that. No, it has Sorry, to be. Sorry, you're going through I it. I used to watch you guys on Twitch play. Uh, I won't work for $10 an hour. Not oh, me. cool. I'm too good. I'm all seriousness. You have to work from the ground up. All in consistent income is better than your situation now. Exactly. He gets mad. I worked for Burger King. If anybody out there can help me out with $20, I'd appreciate it. Our information is in our description. Peace and Maranatha. Look, he fucking got mad and left. Got mad and left because somebody said working for ten dollars is better than making absolutely nothing. And he's like, "Well, whatever. I'm not even going to answer that. I'm not going to talk to you. All my information's here now. Give me the money that you worked hard for, because I refuse. I'm too lazy. I will not work for ten dollars an hour. You go work your ass for ten dollars an hour, then come home from your long day's work." Then give me the money you earned. The fucking entitlement. Exactly. You have to start somewhere. But no, not him.
they are disgusting. I know. I know. They're just gross. 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 Okay. Let's take a look and see what else is going on. See if we've missed anything while we were, we're on. Not seeing anything. Oh, hang on. Queen Cobra's live currently, but I haven't watched a whole lot of her to know much about much of it. Hang on one sec. So she's cooking. Um, we're gonna when we get married. So they're back together then. Because I thought they were split up. Gonna have bacon. But I guess they're back together now. Bacon at her wedding, weed at her wedding, alcohol. <laughs> Who's not surprised? I have a question. Why is she always cooking food in the middle of the night? Like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning here. She can't be more than a couple hours difference from me. And she's frying bacon. And she literally stays on all night long. Like, what does she even talk about for that long? Yeah, from what I've seen, Cheryl, she's definitely a case. But I and I thought her yeah, and Josh ranch, were good, but I guess they're back together. We'll have some motherfucking peaches. Oh, it's one a.m. there, Bella. Peaches can be her at her wedding with some homemade. Oh my god! Now she's planning a fucking wedding because they get along so well. That I'm certain the marriage would go great. My bacon is always good, baby doll. All right. She runs it constantly. Cheryl drinking, bathing, I'm cooking, ranting. on because we have to cook our conglomeration. <laughs> That's a funny word. We have to cook our conglom. <laughs> so kind of like foodie used to do, just stream everything. Holy Regardless shit. of whether or not it's interesting. <clears throat> I agree, Bella. We oh, it's only 10 o'clock there, Cheryl? We have to mix our cauliflower. That's really early. Yeah, it's like 2 a.m. here. My husband should be up very soon to get ready for work. She's making a cauliflower BLT is what it said. I don't know where the cauliflower comes into a BLT. But I guess since she's dating Josh, the weird food combos aren't that strange. I'm sorry. This is my bacon, so I can eat the happy one. I'm sorry. I, I am going to eat a BLT. I promise all of you. But I'd like something more interesting to watch than her eating bacon. Richard, keep on the floor. I will freeze. Because she's not doing anything interesting. Good thing I caught it. Ooh. I know a good one. Anybody up for watching some Crystal and Leslie? If you are, I have a couple of uh, interesting ones that we can take a look at. And guys, I don't know if you guys heard this. I just heard this very recently. Um, and I don't even know if you know about this story, but Dylan Rounds, I watch a lot of true crime. Um, Dylan Rounds, he was a teen, was very close to my oldest son's age. I think he was 19. Uh, he was in the States. Anyway, he's he was, he's been missing for like almost a year now, I think. They finally found him. Um, 
I haven't watched the whole story yet to find out exactly what happened, but my heart is just broken. It's so sad. He was so young. He was starting his own farm and doing really, really well for himself. Anyway, they finally found him. Thank God it's been so long. But I feel terrible. Poor, poor kid. He was so young. He was so young. Okay, I'm going to play this while I find uh, a good one for us. I agree, Bella. And she did, Cheryl. She threatened him with a fucking machete. <laughs> oh, gross. I hate when people do that. I hate it, like, in real life. But, Jesus, you're online. Could you not mute it or something? It's so gross. Well, goth chick, you're lucky that you got to spend your time with all the nature and stuff, because that, that's what I fucking want, if it's just to be, like, with the nature, obviously with my goddamn man. You mean the one you threatened with a machete that you seem to love so much? She is unhinged. Is anybody else surprised no, that she used these to see a either? Like natural. I don't know where they come from. I didn't know he was from the UK until like Josh played some interview with him. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. It was very interesting. I would have never get because you know obviously like when you have your singing voice you don't have your like accent and stuff so I thought it was very interesting <clears throat> yeah I love this song um what was I gonna do okay Watched that one last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I think I got some for us here. Give me one second. Pause that. Come back over here. Some of these are fairly short, but good. So this one is from the channel Simba Garfield. I'll drop it in the link and then I'll make sure I put it in the description as well. Uh, I just found this channel. She's got a lot of great clips of uh, Crystal and Leslie. And they often tend to be quite good. So this one. Uh, da, da, da. This one is called Crystal Finds a Tapeworm on Her Cat. And I am sorry if you guys can hear my tummy. It is making all kinds of sounds. Sorry, guys. My computer's being slow. There we go. So here's Simba. I'm going to make this big so you guys can see. It's like a one-minute video. This is Simba. Why don't you go by the box and the yeah, because your cat is weird. Uh-huh, Cheryl. It gets worse. 
Yeah, she just pulled that out of his ass with her bare hands. Yeah, sure did. Now she's looking at it. Um, maybe you should go to the vet and get him some medication. My cats get them too. They're indoor outdoor cats and my cats hunt. And they eat the mice that they hunt. I don't know why. They have a bazillion pounds of food, but they like to eat the mice that they hunt. And it, it gives them worms. That's what happens. And you have to treat them once a month with a pill. Oh, it's not a heartworm, Bella. No, not a heartworm. It's a tapeworm. Um, so it, it like... They they always come from the the bum of the animal because it's in the intestinal tract, and uh, yeah, it looks like little grains of rice basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's little segments of the worm coming out, and it takes a pill to treat it that you have to get from the vet, and you have to treat them once a month if you have cats like I do that go outside and hunt. Yep, more unwashed nasty people. It's moving. They look like See? maggots. That's what they look like, maggots. I'm not eating the worm. You guys are sick people. What the hell? It makes it also makes the cat's tummy swell up, and it makes them eat a lot because the worm is eating all the food. So um, if you don't treat the cat, you'll notice the cat is eating a lot, and their tummies will get really, really big. Um they need to be treated. Like, it's not even an expensive treatment. I think a pill is like $20 per cat is what I pay. Oh, yours is purely indoor? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it tends to happen to indoor cats much at all. It is catchy between cats and stuff, but I know for uh, cats that are like outdoor, indoor, outdoor, um, it comes from I know for my cats, it comes from the intestinal tracts of the mice that they're eating. That's where they're getting them. Um, but like I said, if you don't treat them, they're gonna get. They're gonna keep getting them. She did throw it on the floor, Cheryl. She did. Well, outside, it's moving, but it's moving. See? Oh, fucking gross. I'm not eating the worm. You guys are sick people. What the hell? Oh, we didn't see her throw it, but I'm certain that's what she did with it. Okay, if you get a worm from a cat's butt, should you wash your hands? You had to Google that? You had to Google... First of all, you've now picked up your phone with your cat worm butt hands. So now that's all over your phone. But you had to Google, should I wash my hands after pulling a worm out of my cat's ass? How did these people make it to adulthood? Should you wash your hands if you touch a tap room from a cat's butt? No, I'm sure you'll be fine. No need. You don't know if there was a tap worm or not. So, so the any fucking little bug was moving on my own. Did they say they were sick? <laughs> no wonder. And you go and you know if he's got worms. You would know. And somebody, somebody goes by to him. Check his boot. If a cat has tap worms, should you wash your hands? Yes, that's right. I'm doing it on my own terms. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear them say that. Yes, yeah, so it's a washer and so I have to wash my hands. So. Okay, can you fucking believe she Googled that, first of all? I, I was so dumbfounded. Hang on, Leslie and Grandpa are screaming in my ear. Hold on. Jesus, pause. Good gracious. 
the next one started and it was Leslie and grandpa screaming. Um, but to have to Google that, I'm, I was dumbfounded, fucking dumbfounded. Not to mention, like I said, she put her hands all over her fucking phone after she did. Oh, gross, gross, gross. Oh, this one's only a minute, too. I'll show you this one. So this one, uh, Grandpa got mad at uh, Crystal and Leslie for not folding their laundry. I'm actually going to make this one big, too, so you can see. So there's Anchor Grandpa, who is also a diabetic by the looks of it because he has a sensor on his arm. My husband has the same ones that read your blood sugar, like through your phone. Oh, and a lot of yelling, by the way. So um, watch your ears. Crazy. Stop. My God, stop. That's right, Crystal. Show that worker. Show that worker what he's doing, Crystal. She's going to put you away, big boy. First of all, He's got a bat. Second of all, he lost his pants. I can definitely see where Crystal uh, gets her uh, anger from. Because clearly Grandpa's a tad unhinged. See what you're doing? You don't do like you like you are a guy. So he gets oh my god, look. Look what he did. He didn't break the off about that god. Yeah, he did break the other stuff. Oh other my stuff? god. Wait, this what is other crazy. Stuff? That's not your pot. That was his pot. That was his pot. It's a mess now. Your coffee pot, Crystal. Oh, man. You think you. you think you're a bad motherfucker? You think you're talking, dude? You got a ball back. Break you everything. got a ball back. You take your top. For real, Christy. That's why you're going to call the top on you because he's scared. She's scared of you. Crystal would call the cops a hundred times a day over anything, scared or not. Just a smidge, right, Cheryl? Holy shit, eh? Completely tore that place apart. Completely tore it apart. Okay, give me one more second here. Okay, this one is called Shirt Sagas, and I just want to make sure there's not a different one that I want to play. Yeah, okay. So this one's from uh, I'm Not Crystal Station. And I will drop that here for you guys in case anybody wants to watch the video without my blabbering over the top. There you go. And like I said, this one's called Shirt Saga. Sagas. And this was posted a month ago by I'm Not Crystal Station here. And I don't know what this is about. I have not watched it, so fingers crossed it's a good one. Me neither, Bella. Never in a million years. Crystal Station. Hello, everyone. Happy uh, Monday. Fun day. <laughs> Watching Lifetime movie on YouTube right now. It's really hard bad. to see the math. I want to see the math. I'm thinking all this tonight or tomorrow, whenever I don't know because I want to do more. 
had a baby lace and like more clear and things like her. This apartment's kind of big, huge, but looks like it's big because here. First of all, look at this place. These two are hoarders to the extreme, or holders, as uh, Crystal would say. And she said she can't clean because she's lazy because she had a baby. Again, the baby's four, and they do not have custody. So apparently, after four years, you still haven't gotten your energy back from uh, giving birth to that baby you're not raising. <laughs> Sweat. Yeah. I've been there, Swen. I have been there so many times because I take so many different medications and I'm like, oh, did I take this one yet? I... <laughs> yeah, been there. <laughs> it's time to find out. I couldn't take it either, Swen. I couldn't take it either. I'd go nuts. I, I know, Cheryl. I'd go crazy. I'd go absolutely crazy. I need my house. To be quiet, peaceful, and I, I don't get me wrong, my house is never spotless and never has been. I have two dogs, two kids, two cats, husband, like, you know, my house is lived in. But this stuff everywhere, I couldn't handle this. Like, stuff needs to have its place. That's what really drives me. I couldn't handle, like, having to walk over things. I I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. <laughs> And thank you for good Lord that baby was the senator. All I can say. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I wish. Showing us her piles of junk. <laughs> Oh, well, I understand that. Oh my god. First of all, she's doing that fucking baby one that drives me crazy. But look at this. Look at that floor. You can't even find it. It's completely gone. Lord have mercy. And they have, it's either six or seven storage units full to the brim, Cheryl, full to the brim of junk. Completely full. And I completely understand that, Bella. I, I lost my mom nine years ago. Oh, I definitely, I definitely understand where you're coming from. And I'm sorry for you lost. Why is she what baby wine? Why are you doing French fries right now? No, it's holders, Cheryl. <laughs> One time Crystal said, but at least we're not holders. You know, like those people on TV, those holders. Yeah, you mean a hoarder? And yeah, you are. Hey, Tangle. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. Yes, Cheryl. Yeah. All those fucking storage units full to the brim. Oh, oh, oh. Of what? God only fucking knows. You don't know what temperature to put them on. No. Leslie. No, let's try it here. No, leave my salt alone now. No, it's fried. I have to use a little bit of salt. No, I don't put salt. Salt on my fries. No, it would taste nasty. No, I don't do that. Ugh. I, know what I'm doing I don't want no salt on my fries. I'm not eating, Glenn. I don't use too much salt, okay? I'm in my throat. Man. The smoke. I don't die. Salt. I can't. <laughs> the garden is Did you just hear that? She needs the salt. He can't use it on the fries because she needs it or she'll die without the salt. That's what she just said. Salt water. Hear my ass when it's too much salt, okay? Can you stop? It's in my throat. The smoke. I, need more salt I don't die. I can't. 
It's for my throat. It's like gargle with salt water cured my ass when it's gone. It's for my throat so I don't die. I gargle the salt water and now my asthma is gone. So she needs the salt to save her life, apparently. And Leslie wants to put some on the fries. And that's apparently a big no-no. I couldn't either, Cheryl. Like, did you see how he had to step over, like, three feet of stuff just to get to the other side of the kitchen to get something? I can't imagine. Don't dump that in there. No, I need that salt. We just stop and take it. Be from up. Look, it has that much in there. Yeah, and there's a lot. I need that salt. I need it or I'm going to die. I'm in the hospital. Stop or we're okay, done. Put it up now. I'm done now. Let me put it away. Let me fear. Don't let the cat. It's still a lot in there. Now, it's still a lot in there. Okay? You can't cook. They're going to burn them. You, I'm not going to do it how Lance would do it, how he used to do it. All right. Okay. You don't know what temperature to put it on. Huh? You don't know what temperature to put on. Look at the hold this phone now. Okay. Don't uh, don't press nothing. I'm not, I'm not going. What the fuck? So she's he's not allowed to use the salt because she'll die without the salt, apparently. And he can't cook fries as good as 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 uh, Lance can. So he's not allowed to cook the fries because he's not as good as Lance. She's so fucking mean to him. I think you're absolutely right, Bella. I think you're hundred percent right. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I certainly fucking would be. I'm sorry, everybody. This is Leslie, um, Crystal's fiance. I'm doing my best I can. She works different. I work different. No okay. Problem. Thanks for being here. And um, it's a mess right now, but it's getting back to being what it was better than what it is. Because her fiance is the one, the best in the world. Yep. Now look and see if it's on the right temperature, Crystal. You need to eat because it won't fit. So it's getting better. This is getting better. This mess is getting better. Jesus, I'd hate to see it at its worst. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Rock on, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look at my sexy wife. Dishwasher yep, wide open. Cereal right. like, uh, box. I'm making. I'm slow cook. Doing the fry. Doing the fry as you like. She don't use. Block this. Your finger. Oh, ow. Sorry, show them that. Show them the fry. Leslie, why aren't the hamburgers making any noise? Like, is the pan on? Apparently, it's better than it was, Cheryl. Apparently, it's getting clean. We're not slobs. We never uh, been. Yes, we're OCD the germophobia. Yeah. Oh, they're not it's slobs. Cooking with Chef Leslie right now, but the temperature can't read. Here, here. They're not slobs. Show them out. Just germophobia. Oh, that's right. There it goes. What? Okay, stop. Okay, he's dancing. Here, hold this. Here, hold this, please, baby, please. Yep. Trying a new technique. I don't want to do it here. Yeah. Hello. What? I still have to take a nap and I'm done eating. Okay, you will. Here, hold this so I can get the friction. What you want to do with the phone? Right. Right. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I, I can't really get. Put it down. Put it. Get the selfie stick here. Here, Crystal. Damn it. Oh my feet are here, dirty. You made it worse in here. Here. You made it worse in here. You know what you're doing. Why you make it worse? You can't. It won't work this way. No, you're so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here, put it over here. I don't need. It, okay. Yeah, just pick it out of the way. It right now. I mean, fuck picking it up. Just, just kick it. You know, shove it all to one side. Don't bother picking anything up, Leslie. Don't worry about it. Just kick it with your foot. That's not how you do it. It's done with professional help. Yeah, I know. Oh, what is it? Kicking the garbage wrong? Yeah. It break stuff. Stop oh, it. I'm just moving with my feet, Crystalina. This guy's nuts. I'm not nuts. He took two Adderall. That's why. No, no. I gave it the Adderall. Yeah, I found Adderall on the drill that I didn't know I had. That's why, right? I've never been He's not no drug. He'd do it how um, never been nuts Paul Walker would do it, right? Oh, my God. Am I right? You don't smoke Where no you more, you more right? Him, All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So these are the fries we're using. TJ Farms Select Straight Cut French Fries from the Dollar Tree for only a dollar twenty-five for both of them. Yeah. The temperature, wait, what are you doing? Yep. The temperature on here says. Yeah, I'm just kicking it around. Four twenty-five. Let's cook it. There's no 425 right here. There's no, excuse me? She just said there's no 425 on her oven. Let's cook it. There's no 425 right here. Right. She must have one of those special ovens that doesn't go to, doesn't have the 425. They just skipped it. They skipped that temperature on her oven, I guess. What the fuck do you mean it does, it's not on there? What? I just have to move on. Nineteen minutes. Nineteen minutes. It's your alarm for. Okay, everyone, subscribe to Crystal Station, everyone, and stay blessed, stay safe, and no bowling zone. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Carol. This is Crystal Station. We're here at the Maroon Beach. Maroon, like Marilyn Monroe Beach. Where's this at? What city again? Or Maroon City, Maroon County. Hope we don't see your your mom here. I hope not. Is it going over there? No. Oh yeah, it is. Where? 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 It's back Let me charge my phone, please. I need it bad. I for my it. YouTube, you know my YouTube being your YouTube. Mine's on 50 something, baby. I'm going to do vacation trips on YouTube if you don't let me record. Okay, you, got you, you bring anything to set up? Yeah, no. chairs. Bring your chairs off the porch. You know what I mean? That is, look. That's wrong. Look at the not. sign. The sign right there, you can park that way, too. Oh. It's not. You can't just see this. my way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 4th of July. You're probably right, Bella. I didn't even think of that. You're probably exactly right. It's probably four and four fifty, and then just lines. Yep, you're absolutely right. I bet you anything that's what it was. July twenty twenty one. Everybody, it's not. Just see the fucking sign right there. It's oh, right in the back. Right there. Yeah, see that sign there, sir. Where the sign behind there where you can park behind there. See? Happy see the sign. It's blue. Yes, yeah, blue is your part there. See, see, oh, that's what car is. Okay, then go part somewhere else. Oh, thank yeah. you, Cheryl. I, mm, I, I was worried it was too dark because I'm trying a trying a new technique where I'm only using one color of marker just as a base, and then I'm gonna do the pencil crayons over the top. But I wanted to test it out before I um did a tutorial on it. But I'm concerned it's too dark because I need to shade with the crayons, pencil crayons. Damn. Watch out, Jim. Watch out. Hey, Jim. I'm buzzing and I can't help it. Boy, go, right huh? Dab, 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 dab. Yeah, I hope Grandpa's. <laughs> that's all happy apples. Bitches. She's had a hollows. That was on my thing, really. That's inappropriate. Okay. I got a little bit. Yeah, I can't wait till I get in my old car one day. Oh, that's an ignorant bitch. Hard here. I ain't part of the way out this far. I'm pushing the wheelchair. I'm buzzing. I'm like. Oh, and then people make me dance. Well, let's go around. Oh, no, but really? So we'll get more views. You bring your bike and everything on here. Weird. Bring the park. We'll just pick up a little bit. I don't want to go to the store. Crystal won't go to the store. I said I didn't want to. I don't know what happened. Over there, but it's fire. I can't walk to the store. That's far. Okay, Crystal. And then I come back and I won't get my parking place. We can eat with our hands then. We can't eat with our hands. Okay. We're going to put the food on. I don't know, Keith. Crystal. I'm not no key. Saw, I know it. I made a mistake. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out, Joe. Well, there we go. Just set a chair or something right here for you, Joe. You ready? Well, are they going to have like a them. picnic? How come none of those things are open? I don't know. Are you ready or no? Up to shake ice. Yeah. Well, that's shake ice. What if that's a food place? They might have some they might, yeah. paper plates you can power. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where do you want to set up at? Anywhere. I don't know. And the shade, that's right. where everybody is. Oh, come on. Where's the groom? 
Get you, uh, what did you say? Where do you want to set it at? I take it by a church tree or something. Let me get your wheelchair out, man. It gets to 80%. Yeah. I'll be doing it. gets to 80%. The phone, the my YouTube. Tropical shaved ice. There's ice there right there. Hey! I'm going to give this another minute to pick up. If what do you do? You told me to roll my window down. All right, roll up. Crystal Station and happy 4th of July. Can subscribe. Try to turn around if you can. Right? Oh, is this Leslie driving? Yes, we're going to buy a car one day. <gasps> That's why, right? I have been looking for this video. I seen it, this clip of it, and then I totally could never find it again. Oh, my God. Okay. This is Leslie driving Angry Grandpa's car. See if you can do it. The group don't yell at you, Grandpa. <laughs> Angry grumpy grandpa's gonna yell at us, ain't he? I probably. <laughs> He'll say, "My car, where's my car?" <laughs> right? There's Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Well, you're scared. Yeah. Why are you scared? <laughs> Can't believe Leslie's driving the car. It's gonna be right on YouTube, right? First time oh, ever. Right behind the wheel. Why are you going right here? We're not here. Uh, to turn around. And can you hear him? It's like constantly on the gas, off the gas, on the gas, off the gas, on the gas, off the gas. No, they don't have licenses, Cheryl. He just keeps like on off, on off, on off. You can hear the engine keep revving. Let's go start it. Go that way, or oh, you can't. It won't let you. Whoa! Oh, he scared me. Whoa! Sorry. Fucking crap out of me. What <laughs> down, brother? Dear God, ah! he hitting. Scaring us. He can't kill us. We're in a um parking lot, right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't count on that. Who taught you? Right. So. Easy hit the brake like I was doing. Oh, God, here's oh, Crystal. God, oh, oh, no. Oh, God, help us all know. Crystal's behind the wheel. Oh, Jesus. When you got to turn, you turn around. Hit the wheel, do it. Hit the wheel, do it. Oh, Don't be afraid, because never be afraid. got to be sure. No, we won't. Never be afraid? I don't think that's very good advice. I'd be very afraid. Crystal, no, we won't kill you. Yeah. Just show them you can do it, Crystal. On the, no, don't go on the highway. You know, so they didn't ask Grandpa. They just took the car, and Crystal said Grandpa's gonna kill me for taking the car. No license, no nothing. So you're not insured, and you just thought shits and giggles. I'll go for a fucking joyride when I don't know how to drive. Great plan. Speedway is from here. Yes, you no, do. It's I'm not going that far. I'll get you okay. by a car. Go this. Oh, we'll be careful. Turn this way. Okay. Truck's in the water. Turn go, go straight and you can pull up that lot. Okay. Easy, 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 easy. Stop it. Here, right here. Hit it back. Here, go ahead. Them thing. Look at them things when you're driving. Chris, look at the thing when you're driving. Easy, easy, Stop. easy. Yeah, look at them things when you're driving. What uh, thing? Well, slow, you slow down. Slow down. Don't we'll take it hard. Not let me turn. Okay, let now, now, turn. now, 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 wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Now, now turn this way, this way, turn this way, this way, this way, this way. Turn it wrong, Crystal. The other way, the other way, the other way, the other way, the other way. Oh, God, I'm scared. No, we won't the other way. Come on, turn. Make. Okay, okay, okay. You're getting it. Grubble this must like be you. very so old. Her hair is blonde. Yeah, All right. Like All right, then turn, turn, <laughs> turn this way, turn this way. You, you, yes, yes. Just don't talk. Don't talk. <laughs> No, you won't, Chris. So, all right, park, park. Here comes gravel. Park. Easy, e easy, <laughs> easy, 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 Crystal. Easy. Turn it. 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 Easy. Easy. Stop. Stop. Turn it. Turn it. Easy. Easy. Stop. 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 Easy. Stop. 
Oh, this is worse than teaching my kid. You have it. You got a chance. Oh, God. That was fucking terrifying. That's worse than being in the car with my teenagers when I teach them how to drive. Right? The blind leading the blind. Totally. God, now I don't know what the hell we're in for. Ew. Oh, my God. Is that the wall? Like rainbow long sleeve shirt too. Oops. Look at that door frame. That's the door frame. Like rainbow long sleeve shirt too. Like this, I don't know where this place is. Wash your hands when you cook before and after. Cook a lot Oh, this is definitely old. YouTube subscribers, smash that like, thumbs up, the bloom that turns blue. Eating chicken nuggets with ranch and ketchup. I made an oven all by myself. And I'm playing uh, two, two 19K wrestling online. You know, I'm up to start online right now, you know, on my 43-inch TV, my, my fiance's TV at the stage, too. Whatever hers is mine anyways, we take care of each other all within us. And when we get to the day we die, you're being faithful and honest, you two followers. I love Hello Kitty a lot. You know, smash that button and like it, you know, subscribe to it. And I love subscribe to it. My fiance with all my heart, he's... My king of the universe, and I'm the queen of the universe. And I'm pregnant by him. And he's my Jack from Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio with the blue sexy eyes. Excuse me? You think he looks like Jack from Titanic? You mean Leonardo DiCaprio? Wow. That's a stretch. She did, Bella. Aren't you impressed? I'm impressed. Won't work. So we share mine. All my followers, you know. We offload out your jealousy. We offload too. Must be really old. Like she's still like pregnant. Dance. Or it's wow. one of the ones where he's just saying she is. used to be a clown. Not. Yeah, I did she that. for a lot. 20 bucks an hour doing that. And then, you know, I did landscaping and... You know, I wrestled. I, I did my my guy's stronger than people arson, think he is. Jitsu, you know? okay. None of my exes have ever been you know, strong as I, my fiance. So. No Just saying, they're weak. Big deal. They are for real. You know what I'm saying? They don't matter how much money you got. You're no different. And you're no better than nobody else. Well, wow, Leslie. You don't care if you're a millionaire. Too many Adderall, buddy. You haven't stopped talking here. since the whole thing I started. I just play games that open my mind, okay? You know, open my mind in uh in this you know this entertainment. You know. When I clean my body, I'm germophobia with my body and dishes, stuff like that. Oh god, the depression really bad, anxiety really bad. Good way, not the bad boy. And epilepsy, where I have staring, where I stare. I have depression and anxiety really bad, but not the bad kind, the good kind. What's the good kind of depression and anxiety? Can I have that kind? Because I don't like the bad kind. Can I have her kind? I don't have seizures. I never have and never will. So I don't have no germ. I don't. I'm, I'm not no psychopath. I don't have Asperger's. Never have. I'm smart in my own iconic way. So smooth and that's hot. <laughs> Is that it for that one? Yes. So. Interesting. Your laundry room. Just give me one second. Let me. Minimize this so I can look at one more thing. Oh, 
One more second, guys. Sorry. Okay, we're going to do one more. And then we'll go for the night, I think. This one is called Why Me? Nicola, hello, hello. It's so good to see you. Thank you for being here. So this one, like I said, is called Why Me? And it's again by I'm Not Crystal station here it's from her channel posted about a month ago but i think it's probably older than that i outrank you i can destroy you so i suggest you fall in line okay this says the first two hours she had terrible feedback because crystal was watching the live stream as she streamed nice okay you don't get it, please. You should never open it. Then it's your fault. What are you doing? Just stop what you're doing. Oh, you have to do something. You hear me? What are you grabbing? You better put there the whole thing in your hand. Fun. You hear me? Uh, you have two of the pops. What? Like, and two, uh, ice cream it's all my never finished. Look bitch. at all the cords on the floor. So, Grumpy Grandpa does a grim, Grumpy Grandpa does it. Gordon Chef Branson does and he loves so can I amen 15 amen. Do you hear me? Come on, see them plugged in at all. I mean, I mess never mess with these stupid retarded bathrooms. I don't like certain ones. It's the black one better not be the same one. It's like certain fucking vacuums. They're so stupid. It's my old oh, garden brand of Taurus bought me a vacuum and I sold it because I didn't like it. The stupid corn was too short to the vacuum. That's war. Don't sweep the damn floor. I hate grandpa's vacuum. It's too big. You stupid. I like small. Clean. What the hell do you it's care? It's really small. That's for business. What are you eating? Oh, listen. Don't eat like a pig. Don't make that noise. Don't be a little pig. You hear me now, huh? If we get any money, we're buying a vacuum right away. Do you hear me? I don't like messy floors. Do you get there? Vacuums that don't work. How much? Who doesn't like messy floors, them? guys? Huh? They know how to fix them, right? Leave me alone, please. I'm busy trying to do what I do. It's rude. <laughs> You're the one that did it, not me. Oh, I'm busy cleaning. If you stop me, I won't clean no more ever again. And like ever again, that's who I am. I'm not giving up. Cleaning's more important than that right now. Uh, Do you hear me? Um, I don't know fix what, what's it. going on about. Yeah, you do, Quippy. I thought you're not like he's. Can you shut your mouth? Oh, that's nuts. What the fuck? Is he dying? I can never be him. Then stop it, please. I want to be a DJ right now. Fuck the party and doing jump. Come on out there. Okay, if people can hear you on YouTube live, you're my video. That's rude and inappropriate. I bet you don't understand my And you hear next door. Uh, let's see. Uh, Emma can hear you. They're probably sleeping. Emma don't even know. <laughs> Uh, I would hope so, Bella. I would really hope so. See, Rev, 3 a.m. My husband just got out of bed to go get in the shower to go to work. It's entirely possible, believe it or not, to get up that early and go to work. It happens. People do it. Oh, you. Lucy don't know what she's probably proud of me. I know people are. I know what she's probably proud of me. I know where. You take my guy and fight for school. I'm trying to clean it. I can't when you're That's yelling at me. Chatting with my mic muted. Just da 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 da. da. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the silence. I said thank you, Cheryl. Hopefully they turn out nice. But I was just saying it's uh, like 3 a.m. My husband just got up to get in the shower to go to work. 
you see, Rev, entirely possible to get up in the middle of the night and go to work. Well, that's true. You can get the fuck out. You gonna pull it out of me. I gotta go my cat. I don't know what I'm doing because of you. I forgot what I was doing. Thanks a lot. Sorry, I need to get all these daddy your pots here. I'm not putting no more pots here. I don't like. I don't like warm, pissy you ass pots. God damn it, that's what they're falling out of here. And put one in there, okay? Dang. Uh, you bitch too much like grandpa or, or kids I mean, watch. Oh my god, grow up. Don't do it. Psycho. You know, drug. Yeah, I never been out of drugs. You have, I have no idea what they're arguing about. I can't get it. I can't do it. I tried. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard for me to shut it, Chris, because everything's falling right out. And if it's something breaks, you're like, you fucking wrote my shit. You wrote my shit. I can't help it. Well, I'm going to say, what if you couldn't talk like Chris more? And that's sad, Chris. So that's sad, that little faggot. If he called me a faggot, right. so I call him one back. It's sad. I do want you, Chris. If you really love me, you wouldn't be mean to me either. Oh, that's not me. I've been off my meds for six years, retard. You never took your meds. See, that works. sniffing up your nose. Why is it from you? Because you don't buy What did I tell you? I have been saying that for like months now. That they crush those Adderall and put them up their nose. That's why Crystal's always fucking snot rocketing all over the house. She just said all you care about is... T- I. She said I come off my pills. All you care about is crushing them up your nose. Listen. Oh, that's not me. I've been off my meds for six years, retard. You never took your meds. See, that works. Sniffing up your nose. Only care about sniffing them up your nose. She has absolutely no concept of what to say when she's being recorded and what not to say. This woman has admitted to more crimes on camera than I can even count. Flies are from you because you don't buy fly traps like plants. Peterson always bought fly trucks for his apartment at Washington Woods. To let you know when I just buy them too for him. I, I put bitch on the old woman. I find my throat one day would get laryngitis because of it. Okay. Uh, what time talking? Yeah, See, girls, everybody, if she don't want to yell, then tell her don't yell. She chooses to yell. You woke up. Yeah, she woke up. Back to bed. Always blaming Leslie. Leslie, 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 so she woke him up to fight. Yes, Nicola, we watched it last night. It was amazing. It was amazing. I am so glad somebody finally put her in her damn place. It was so good. Absolutely, world's dumbest criminals. They need fucking Darwin Awards. <laughs> What what is there? Nothing. Your family in Detroit lives like I never lived. I didn't grow up this way. My bedroom was me every day. Where I didn't meet. You can ask Stuart Irm, and he came over my uh, my house with me. No, look at no. It's more better than what it looked like now. Why are they That's why I'm the way I am. I know that. He, he's not bad, but you see, this never been the room. You don't sit there in the refrigerator. All that stuff will go bad, Chris. So all the ice, all the ice cream, everything will go bad. Well, the freezer can't go bad in one because that damn good. I'm saying, if you ever cheat on me, I'm just saying, you'll never see marriage. That's right. With my grandma and grandpa, see marriage. Uh-huh. I get to my little rabbit head, okay? I'm just saying rabbit. You're not no rabbit. I don't well, like, I, mean, I don't know. I don't like rabbit. I get to my, I get to my brain, okay? Cats and dogs. Okay, I get to my brain. Tell me no more, Crystal. I get through my brain. You want to get married, right? I do. I get through my brain. 
Don't really marry you'll ever get married. Okay. I get through my brain first, so I get through my brain. You okay? want to be like my grandpa? They quit threatening me, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Everybody, I just get tired of hearing that, too. That's when I first met you. You ran away. Who runs away? Because you're beating me. Does anybody have any idea what they're arguing about? I totally can, Cheryl. I absolutely can. Remind you of your brother's ex-wife. Oh, okay. Crystal did. Okay, guys, we'll find oh, that's Crystal. not Hang me. On. I know that. That's gripping keys for it was good. When I first met you, did I hit you at all? No. no. And Joe thinks he knows me. Joe, fuck off. You don't even know me at all. I know. And I was like, yo, yo, Stuart only knows me. Sure. Stuart Herman only knows the real world. Fuck you, I'm like, this See, it's not rocket. That's right. I'm shoving it up your nose. No, I don't want to finish your ice cream. You finish it. Don't worry, Sean. Mm -hmm. I don't do all the M1 things you want to do sometimes. Why? Get that. Quit being so loud. I'm sorry. Because you froze them bagels. I don't even know what they're fighting about. I know, I've done it before with Lance. I've been like this before. But when I was just fat, I was with Tim Menzer. I was never this way. Why? Maybe this way. Let's yeah, no go. Right oh, people bowling. That's why. I used to never bowling at all. Oh, that first place. You know, like that. I was first place. Like, I'm bowling. It's just weird. It's more expensive than stupid. Ice cream. See, bless me. It's the damn ice cream. Here it is. Me either, Crystal. I don't really expect what it's doing to me all day. Where? It's right here. Okay, I found it. I'm just trying to get this to stop doing that give me one second here it's spinning into oblivion for me for no good reason okay so this was put out by simba garfield and it's called crystal gets uh, yelled at by the neighbor because she calls the cops every five minutes And it's so good. It's so beautiful to see somebody put her in her place. I've always said one of these days she's going to fuck with the wrong fucking person. And uh, yeah, I think she found it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my fucking cop back over here again. You better not be. I'm a person. You never see me like this. I'm a little girl. You understand me? I'm talking to you. He has all. Oh no! What happened? Station here. Sorry, I was touching something on my phone, on my headphones. Sorry, guys. So what's happening off screen, which you can't see, is she went to answer the door, and the neighbors at the door. Oh, are you kidding? Where did it go? Hang on. Oh. oh, that's frustrating. What did I do? Okay, Swen. Okay, come on, you stinking thing. Exactly, Nicola. That was my thought exactly. Nobody gets this defensive about the cops being called. Um, unless you're obviously doing something you probably shouldn't be doing. So. I would say that's what's going on exactly. And he is not happy. Okay, here we go. I got it again. Sorry, guys. Hmm. 
All right. Now, if we could not spin into oblivion and work, that'd be great. There we go. You got a motherfucking cop back over here again? You better not be. If you call the cops over here, you're gonna have a problem with me. It's my brother. He's not trying. I'm a person. You never see me like this. I'm a little girl. You understand me? I'm talking. He has autism like I do. Fuck up when I'm talking. Before I open up the door, coming that bitch. I'm a rooty poo motherfucker. Somebody told me to shut it down. Baby, don't act like that. Keep calling the motherfucking cops over here, yo. No, I'm telling John. I'm, I'm calling I don't John. Care. You call the motherfucker and watch out, Humpy Puff. No, I said I'm John. The motherfucker out now because of your motherfucking ass. I'm after you. And no guys. Uh oh. You better ever get on my motherfucking box over here. Ever. <laughs> Call Chen. She. Absolutely pissed off the wrong guy there. He is mad. And you can hear he said, somebody told me to get over here and shut it down. So, yeah, there's definitely some sort of uh, dealings going on there that they don't want the cops involved in. And she said, I'm a little girl. A little girl who wear what, ma'am? What's going on? You call the cops every five minutes and piss the neighbors off. That's what's going on. Good. You deserve it for calling the cops on Leslie nonstop. Look at her. Slice is happening to me. Oh, man. He said he's going to kill me, John. <laughs> Benny, he said he's going to kill Blur Play Suck. He's nuts. Benny. Benny, the one that was late to he's going to come in here and hurt us bad. No, I don't think so. He just came here and proved on my YouTube live if you watch it. He was yelling at Leslie and me. No, he was yelling at you. Yes, I'm inside. He's going to close the door. I did. He said if I ever called the cops again, he's going to hurt me really bad. Did you call the police? Yes, because I was scared to death. For what? Because all these people here, I'm scared. I never had this life before, John. Don't you understand? She called the cops because she was scared of the neighbor that didn't come over and yell at her yet. So she had to call them because there's a big scary neighbor that lives next door. So that's why she had to call them. That makes no fucking sense, Crystal. Have Glenn, not Glenn, have Ching just out of here. We don't belong here. We have disabilities. We have autism, really, like the guy next door that did. We're like him. I know, but he's going to hurt Leslie and hurt me really bad. Stop calling the fucking cops. Exactly. He said he's going to walk right in where I live and come in here and hurt me. And he said that. Yeah, he did, Benny. He said that. Let's open the door. I locked and they're open with the key right now. I'm coming in here oh, with Leslie. And we unfortunately don't get to see the rest. And I really wish we did. Because that was fucking amazing. I'm definitely going to be on the search for that whole video. And find out what Leslie had to say when he came back in. Because uh, that was something else. She definitely pissed off the wrong guy. I think, Nicole, I think John is like their like, social worker type person who gets them into their housing and things like, like that. And constantly, she's constantly calling him for literally everything. Um, hang on. <sighs> Yelling 
Bring in my ear again. Doesn't want to pause. God, that's annoying. But yeah, not only did the neighbor tell her you need to stop calling the fucking cops here all the time. And John told her the exact same thing. You need to stop calling the fucking cops for no goddamn reason. Yes, I know, Cheryl. I don't know how I felt about those. I didn't think they were the uh, the best things in the world for sure, but she definitely needs some sort of like um, help. Somebody to watch her, somebody to help deal with her. Like it's just off, off the rails, off the rails. I have one more, actually, I'm going to show you. I was going to finish up, but I have one more. It's only 12 minutes. So I'm going to show you this one. Well, I only seen literally the first couple of seconds, but the title sounds so interesting that I need to see what it's about. So again, th this one is also from um, I'm Not Crystal Station, and it's called Crystal's calling a priest and means it this time. So I guess the cops weren't much help, so she decided on the church. Not sure. Stop the charts. But I guess we're going to find out. Nobody was not. Keep it quiet, please. Sorry, guys, I mean, oh, yeah, right. It's just that. Okay. Angry. Grandpa is black. I must say, the candy he used to eat, I got my. He's eating that. He's all just. He's not. No chocolate. He's a bad. He's just saying for a trip to get Keith to come here, and he's trying to kill me with a gun and a knife, everyone. Again, look at the house and the piles. No sheets on the bed. Stuff piled more right up towards the rest because literally that's the devil right there. I just know. Okay. Garth would find me. That's what you get it right, Garth. It's simple. I know. That's I the devil in that fucking room. Praise. I cannot stand when people don't put sheets on their bed. Nothing grosses me up more than that, I swear. Oh, I'm sure when she calls the cops, they just roll their eyes every time. I might bring someone here tomorrow. I might bring a freaking priest in this apartment to bless it somehow or Monday. I'm going to do it. I'm not kidding this time. And why? <laughs> you hear angry grandpa in the James background? James William Jordan's the yelling. He's not allergic to that. He's never been. I'm not kidding. And he used to eat them when he was like living on Pollard Street. He used to buy them all the time. Um, Crystal, people can develop allergies. They may not be allergic to something all their life and they could eat it once and become allergic. That does happen, FYI. It's the devil. Yelling is the devil. Is that what's happening? But has a disability. You don't know nothing at all. So does Keith. They don't know nothing. I do say it Leslie does. Extracts and does to let you all know. Grip was not smart. Okay. He's not a smart, smart word. I just know. Hey, you did. Hey, so, you ding. When you say that, that's not smart people. So smart everybody's say, hey, stupid ding. but you. Okay, got it. Because we're not corrupt as nurses. We're not supposed to help us. Sandra's supposed to help him because she knows more than we do. Sandra's always at work. Chris always has to be over there at the shelter. And that's why you're supposed to have a nurse come here and help him. That's what he said. He's your fucking grandfather. He put you up. He pays your bills. He lets you live there. But you won't help care for him because that's not your job. He raised you. What the hell is wrong with her? Like this man literally raised her. Not her parents. The grandfather did. Hey, Sven. He choked her because he was laying down. Not her job to help and care for him. Oh, yes, we have food. I'm Maybe it's the bed bugs that he had an allergic reaction to. 
Good. So now we know there's bed bugs. That's nice. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I know what happened to my father-in-law too with shrimp. He ate it all his life and then just one day was allergic. It totally happened. About food um, on the first so the human healthy food it's called 175 black star chief key doesn't come by the network never did he probably survived for your network my throat hurts again because of the element of him he's the devil do you get that he don't care grandpa said he don't care if he stabs me with a knife or shoots me with the gun I said that didn't he was like Keith is supposed to come back here too. Grandpa trying to push me by the door for no apparent reason. No, he's not now. And Sandra Lee Combs will not let him in here because there's no for him to sleep. He don't live here. I'm the light and I can't see. I took a nap. That's a better option for me and Leslie. So we're not around Keith and Grandpa no more. Tell Leslie to do that, but you won't listen. Well, you need to do that so we can be safe. Because Keith is getting a gun permanent. To get a gun and sometimes gonna blur brains out. For good people, smart people with like social media, like take smart with and from YouTube. Skype, I do Skype. Devil is in food and caddy sleeping right now. So knowing how to use sleep, I'm not turning my way though for I'm not playing around this time. Why are you saying this month? He said, he said, he said, Friday, tomorrow, next month. See, don't make sense. That's something I would never do like that because I have money and I he smoked marijuana. That's why his money goes. I'm so glad I'm Snickers. I'm so glad I'm marijuana. I'm so good, glad I'm a jerk since I was born. I God, can't amen. wait until you're done blabbing so I can go smoke some marijuana and calm the fuck down because you are so hard in the goddamn head. I don't look like Parasol because look at me. I'm not skinny. You sure fucking don't. Average fat, not fat. No bowling zone. Don't hate, don't just people with disabilities. She's ADD, OCD, and exactly autism is what I have. Exactly. Another thing, let me talk. Let I'm trying to talk on here. That's just rude. I hate people that are rude. See, they keep talking too much know, here. And so Keith polite. is here way worse. Sandra don't like Keith. Sexy baby Leslie should be up to the devil with his karate. What's in my stomach? What makes me look fat? I'm going to show you the devil right now. I'll show you the devil. <laughs> He said it just made some gargle. What's gargle mean? I don't know what gargle means. Gargle means when it gets caught right here. <laughs> That's the devil there. I just showed it. Grandpa is the devil in the sky. Leslie, the good man, like Paul Walker. For any, he's okay, but he has problems like disabilities. But me, I'm a queen of the fucking universe, boss babe bitch. I'm a queen of the fucking <laughs> universe, boss babe bitch. Amen. Leslie, do you love your grandpa? Yes, I the universe, boss babe bitch. All right, that's my new saying. That's it. I'm queen of the fucking universe, boss babe bitch. End of story. Got that? <laughs> I do, but the devil scares the hell out of me. Like, yes, Why is Leslie wearing, what is Leslie wearing tonight? Who are all those people in that house? Saying, yes, this is an apartment, not a house. <laughs> Is Brandon your brother? No, he's my brother-in-law when I married him. I am uh, I'm not Ma, your your daughter. I'm Crystal, right, Sandra? Yeah, Sandra, who I, I am, because Sandra knew me since I was four years old. He's like, you don't like you. This is Leslie Wilson, Gale, Jordan. I can never sleep with this. He calls him the wrong name. It's a random like thing today, so... um. We ended up, we went to get some pre-rolls at the store and we ended up with something that I did not know existed, never seen in my life. They're called One Hit Wonders, I think. And it's like this disposable pipe, but instead of pre-rolls, there's literally like 0.1 grams of weed in the end of this like disposable pipe thing. And it came in a pack of 10 like pre-rolls do. So I open it up and I'm like, did they put in like the tubes and like forget my joints? What is this? I was so confused. I've never heard of them. But yeah, they're called One Hit Wonders. And there's literally, there's like 10 puffs in it. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Clara, you know, 
know why I don't take a shower sometimes because of depression. You know why I don't clean? Because of depression. When you have depression, what does it make you do with cleaning? Alexa, when you have depression, what does it do to you when you don't clean? From lifehacker.com. When it comes to cleaning while you are depressed, the full activity of cleaning to the clean house can help you feel better. While having a messy house can worsen Well, that fucking yes, burnt right, right. right in her face, didn't it? Oh, this is insanity. Is Sandra the devil's girlfriend? The thing is, Grandpa does not get me. You know why? Because he's old. I act my age. Grandpa said something else, like something you said. I heard what you said. I don't remember what it was, but I'm really smart, so no one can't play me. That's why. People want to mess I'll pray on them. Not Sandra or Leslie, just grabbing Keith from now on. Alexa! Alexa! Oh my god. Alexa! Turn off. And Grandpa tells us to help Grandpa. He thinks we're his nurses. Stop. Now quit it. Don't do that. That man does everything for you. You should be his fucking nurse. You heartless bitch. Uh, I don't think it makes sense to anybody, Farrell. I used to clean Grandpa from Grandpa's house. I'm sorry, I used to clean all the time. It's not. You can ask Grandpa to tell you. He's the one that made me not clean anymore. Yes, because the way he tried to try to hurt me. Oh, now it's Keith's fault that you didn't clean. To be like better people, and I'm not changing. No drugs, marijuana, smoking for me, never, forever. Only trick on holidays, pick normal woman. You know what, Crystal? Some marijuana might do you some good. It might take you down 10 or 12 notches. Calm you the fuck down a little bit and you wouldn't be such a... I don't even know what all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly oh, what it is, I bought toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know they had 96 rooms. Do you know what I'm going to do? Come on. The only thing wet down I've ever had. I like to drive to the with the JJ. I'm going to put a burden on so I can I'm pissing on like, Alexa, the devil's girlfriend. Tune my my vagina, like tune. I'm not no Keith or Brand. What are you staring at, cat? Who's Alexa? That would be the Alexa. What time is it? The um, Alexa thing, like Google. They Google this person I'm talking to. He used to be a cop. If I try to get hurt from anybody, he will protect oh, me over no. Keith. Oh no! <laughs> oh, look at the babies. Oh no, I hope this isn't one of the cats that went in the dryer. Oh, look at those babies. Oh, look at them. Pretty soon they're going to be over there in the eyeballs. Oh, they're really weird and young in the closet. I have to get new ones after the dentist, but not yellow take time. I was a detective with the police department. She. But I'm not in the bathtub. I'm washing my JJ right now. What the hell's going on? I do not know these people are nuts right now at the moment. What? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why people have to yell at me when I don't do nothing wrong. Did she just say she's going to wash her for JJ now? Her cats climbed into the dryer and uh, they turned it on and uh, apparently didn't hear the cat banging around in there. The cat, unfortunately, didn't make it. I'm a better person in this whole apartment. I like negative negative energy. The only reason why I abuse Leslie is because of Grandpa and Keith. It's called masking and mirroring when you copy someone else when they hit people, when you have autism or ADD or ADHD. And on purpose to let you all know. As a detective, can I ask you a few questions? What? What? Oh, hell no. What the fuck? That's weird. It's yep, girl. I'm not sleep. If people watch me, I'm not a bad person. Not Ever good. wash a pair of sneakers and put them in the dryer and hear how much the they bang? The whole time, Brent don't live with us. He's just helping us move. That's why you said me and Leslie. You didn't hear a cat me and Leslie and freaking Sandra and Grip are moving. No, Keith is not moving with us because it's just drama with him. I mean, pray on that. Like I said, when I pray, I do it, work. I'm on. Keith got us kicked out because home office and because he brought people in here that does drugs and stuff in this apartment. Grandpa didn't want that at all. He don't like people that does drugs. He never has. With not Keith, no. Yeah, it's bad, Cheryl, I know. I will call the cops because it's called harassment. When the police come by, it's called harassment. Harassment. What's Grandpa staring at? Talking so been me. When I was younger, I had sassiness. When I used to talk to Grandpa, didn't get mad back then. He did not. And Leslie tells me I can't talk sassy. The way I talk is the way. I always talk. When you have top dentures, false teeth, it's hard for you to talk. And they don't care. Throat hurts from screaming at these people that want to bully me, harass me. That's why I bully and harass them back. I guess I'm that good like a detective. So Keith wants to mess with me. I will mess with him like a detective when I'm criminal minds. I'm that good because I watch criminal minds. With my extended...
Detective Crystal. What the fuck is that? I assume that's an edit that they, they put in. Yeah, okay. It was over, that's why. Exactly, Cheryl. Oh my gosh. Something else. I, right. Th exactly. I said the same thing, Nicola. Like, I could see a cat getting in. My cat loves to lay in the laundry baskets of clean clothes. Especially if they're right out of the dryer and they're warm. So, like, I could see a cat getting in like if they were dry clothes and like nice and warm i could see that but then why would you be turning it back on but secondly like i've washed sneakers before you hear those things banging around in the dryer they make more noise than anything else there's no effing way that a cat went in there accidentally and you did not hear it there's no way it's impossible i refuse to believe it awful awful they shouldn't be allowed to have pets thank god the baby's gone but they definitely shouldn't be allowed to have pets because that's what happens well guys that's going to be it for me tonight i am going to go thank you guys for joining me tonight for some uh, crystal and foodie and got a little bit caught up on everything so I will see you guys next time, likely tomorrow sometime, I would imagine. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out and the bell notification so you don't miss anything else that I put out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.